Hey, I'm Robert Whitman. I'm a photographer based in New York, originally from Minneapolis. In 1977, I was a young photographer just starting out. I was home and I got a call from a friend of mine who was in the music business. He said, I want you to meet this kid. So he came to my apartment, pulled me out. We went into his car. We smoked a big joint. He put this cassette in of this music called Soft and Wet, and we drove around, and the music was just mind-blowing. So we went over to the recording studio where Prince was rehearsing. We connected quickly. I think it was because we were both young and just starting in our careers. We decided to do a photo shoot together. We started shooting on the street, and I said, make love to the camera. And he got so embarrassed and so shy that he turned around and he gave me the finger. This was really one of my favorite moments of our entire shoot. I had the perfect spot in mind. It was a wall at the Schmidt Music Company in Minneapolis. The whole wall was covered with musical notes. I thought it would be so great to have Prince standing in front of this. And then all of a sudden, a woman in the background came out and was looking and looking and looking. She never moved, but the photo is the most iconic photo I ever took of Prince in Minneapolis. A few years later, I was in LaGuardia Airport at a payphone, and who walks by but Prince? Says, Whitman, how are you? All of a sudden, 500 kids ran up to Prince. That's the last time I ever saw him. 40 years later, I decided to do a book, and that's how Prince pre-fame came to life. The great Spike Lee wrote the foreword to the book. It was very, very touching. 45 years later, the art world has changed dramatically. It's all about digital. To celebrate Prince's legacy, I'm working on a new project based on NFTs. I think it's a great way to connect my 1977 collection with the new technology. It's really cool working with new talent in new ways.